Welcome back. That's Michelle. Better. It's gonna be a long road. She's in a lot of pain. Any sign of the biker? He went underground. The gang's protecting him. He'll come up eventually and we'll be there. Are you exploring any other possibilities other than the biker? Albert threatened her on the day she was shot. From the report, the wording wasn't clearly threatening. It's coming from Albert. There's a history between Michelle and Albert. And you too. Don't worry, Peter, we're gonna follow every lead we get. No one wants to shoot him more than me. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why she was out there alone. She wanted me here. It was her call. I know the reason. It's in the report. I just don't understand it. The needle only stings, Lewis. It won't hurt him. Um, she's been getting dizzy spells lately. I'm tired. Well, that happens with a new baby. Well, she gets headaches, too. I've always had headaches. She worries about TV. I'm talking about Lois here. He didn't come back for the christening. He must be in trouble. He's screwed up, and he doesn't want to see anyone. That's why he's not around. He needs our help. Go ahead, call him, then. I leave messages, but he doesn't call back. He isn't there anymore. I called this morning. The hotel said he checked out. Where did he go? He didn't leave a forwarding address. Oh, so now you got Lois chasing after him for you? I wanted to. You got enough to worry about. <laughs> it's OK. It's OK. Well, the coliform count's too high. It's always higher in the spring because of the runoff. Well, not this high. You got a problem with your well. That well is clean as a whistle. I took two samples, same results. Well, maybe something fell in. Oh, like what? A garbage truck? Dig this thing yourself, it's way below code. You need a sealed cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it should be polyvinyl pipe, not some hunk of old culvert. Hey, 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 I got something. Look at that. It could have been there for days, weeks, maybe, making all kinds of uh, the, the, the coliforms. That mouse didn't contaminate the well. Sure it did. All right. Drain the system, run some disinfectant through, and I'll check it again tomorrow. But don't use the water until I do. Well, an orthopedic surgeon is a bone doctor. The bullet hit her lung. Yeah, it did, and that's healing. But it sort of nicked her in the bone right about here and she's having some trouble moving it and the doctor just wants to decide if it needs to be reset does that mean well they have to break the bone and then they put it back together so it fits better oh hon. you know broken bones hurt but no one ever died from one i know that hi got a minute charlie Charlie doing okay? Oh, yeah, terrific. Of course, his mother just got shot, but other than that, he's fine. Michelle finally gave her statement. She didn't see who shot her, of course, but the report suggests that Albert threatened her the day she was shot. <laughs> Albert didn't shoot her. How do you know? Because he's too smart. Did Albert tell you that Michelle was canceling the deal? What deal? Albert leaves you and Nathan alone. Michelle doesn't charge the two of you with shooting him. That deal, remember? 
You know, you're not getting anywhere on this case. You can't even find the bullet that shot her. You're just harassing me. Are you protecting Albert? No. Albert can have you and Nathan behind bars any time that he wants. If he's putting pressure on you. Michelle is my friend. And if I thought that Albert hurt her, I'd shoot him myself. Must be nice to be that certain. Especially about something this important. Since the road opened, five families have moved back here and there are workers staying in town. That makes almost 200 people using outhouses. It might be getting into our water supply. <laughs> there, there was a mouse. Sorry, but there was a mouse in the well. That's why the health inspector is doing another test. The coliform count is too high, too high for it to be one mouse. We don't know that for sure. Jerry. I'm just saying, there's no need to panic, you know, until we hear the results of the test. The point is, Lynx River Resources promised us a water system, and they haven't come through. Do we have something in writing? Clause 19, A and B. So you're going to close the coffee shop? One little mouse? Not a chance. At any rate, LRR is Albert's company now, so if we want a water system, we have to go through him. Who's going to ask him? The chief should go. We don't have a chief. TV is chief. TV isn't here, and we need water. He'll get it for us when he comes back. What if he doesn't come back? There goes our quorum. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Trying to fix our water problem. We're going to have half the town blabbing to the health inspector that the water in Lynx River is no good now. Truck it in, Yevick. In our restaurant. Albert owes us a water system. Children are your comfort when you grow old. TV should be here. You know people down south, people who can find him. They would bring him back for you. You carry the bad things you do to the next place. You can carry the good things too. Boys go, that's how they become men. That's how we lose them. Charlie, what are you doing here? Looking around. You shouldn't be in here. This is still a police investigation area. I know. It's taped off like this to keep people from disturbing evidence that might help us find the shooter. Are you looking for something in particular? If you found the bullet, you'd be able to catch whoever did this, right? There's more to it than that. But it would help, right? Maybe. Did you talk to Albert yet? Why? He's out in the bush a lot. Maybe he heard something. Look, Charlie, 
I know it seems like this is taking a long time, but I'm gonna get whoever shot Michelle. That's a promise. Come on. You didn't give them a deadline to start digging. That's your problem. But it was a condition of going public. Albert could keep you tied up in court for years. <sighs> Somebody's got to stand up to him. I can't, Rosie. But you're an MLA. Our MLA. Exactly, but that's your other problem. This is a civil contract, and it has to go through the courts, and I am not allowed to intervene. What I can do is I can talk to end and get the ball rolling on some government funding. But we don't need government funding. We need Albert to do what he promised. I found him in William's cabin. What were you doing? Looking around. Just went for a walk. And you ended up there. Anyway, there's no harm done. But from now on, if you want to go out there, stay behind the police line. James? Thanks. You know, sometimes the hardest thing is not doing anything. And that's what we have to do. We have to stay back and allow the doctors and the police to do their job. But I'm sick of waiting. I know, me too. Town's gonna run out of clean water soon. Council has to do something. Lie to the government, sue Albert. Albert won't do anything. What, you talk to him about the sewer system? About TV. <sighs> what do you expect him to do? Harris. You think Albert cares? You never wanted TV around, that's why he left. <laughs> You're not pinning this on me. He lost that oil company all by himself. They cheated him. He was arrogant, he never listened. Mom. Yes, sir. miss stuff all the time. What are we missing? The bullet. Nobody's found the bullet. Come on. You're exhausted. She had what we call a cerebral vascular accident. Accident? A blood vessel weakens and leaks blood into the brain. How, how does that happen? A number of factors. Trauma, predisposed weakness, a blood clot. We haven't determined the cause as yet. What is she saying? 
Mrs. Sache, your daughter had a stroke. What, what happens now? A stroke can cause impairment in motor functions or memory and speech. It just depends on which part of the brain has been injured. And what about Lois? We don't know yet. We'll have to wait till she wakes up. But she will wake up. Chances are good. She's stabilized quickly. She's young and otherwise healthy. But I can't make any guarantees. Okay, I'll just take it one step at a time. Okay, keep in touch, please. Okay, bye. How's Lois? Not good. TV needs to know about this. Harper will find him. Lois may not have that long. If it were you, you'd need Elizabeth there. He looks just like Lois. You think he knows what's going on? Well, is it any better? Afraid not. Call form count still way too high. You get your water from an underground stream. My guess is someone's built an outhouse sitting right on top of it. Could be, maybe, somebody. You don't know anything for sure. You're gonna shut me down for a lot of maybes. You provide clean, safe water in your establishment and you can stay open. We'll have to truck it in. It's not my problem. I'm telling you, it's the mouse. Jerry, give it up. Uh -huh. What's that? Die. I put it in an outhouse this morning. Go ahead. I'm done. You gotta move the outhouse. I just build it. It's polluting our well. Coffee shop's half a mile away. There's an underground stream and it flows right under here. Took me three days to dig that hole. Come on, Rosie. We can probably move this thing between the two of us. Jerry. Hey, you're gonna tip it. It took me 15 years to build our place up. You think I'm letting it go down the drain because of a goddamn outhouse? You're out of here. Don't touch my shit house. Come on, Charlie, we talked about this. I'm not inside the line. You should be in school. There! What? The bullet. That's it, isn't it? Now, Rosie? What can I do for you? Council would like to know when Lynx River Resources will be honoring their commitment. What commitment is that? To supply the town with a proper water and sewage system. You should talk to my lawyer. He handles things like that. Council would like to hear from you. I'd be happy to speak to Council. They found TV yet? Yeah. Harper's looking up. Would they bring him straight to the hospital? I guess if they find him, they will. 
They'll find him. TV will come. <laughs> Chad. Hey. This is Dennis. Dennis is from Oskini Point. He's the band manager. Oh, what a coincidence. I've just been talking to your boss, Chief Shoup. Oh, uh, yeah, you're trying to sell us a phone system. <laughs> funny, eh? You're on the phone, and here I bump into Dennis at the bar. Yeah, funny. Dennis is here on holidays. Oh. Yeah, I figure I better get on my vacation time before the election. Mm-hmm. New chief, new band manager. Oh, Shoup seems like a pretty nice guy. What makes you think he's gonna lose? No, uh, he is a nice guy. But that's his problem. He says yes to everybody, then people end up getting mad. Ah, like he promised his band a new telephone service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he promises phones, and then he promises three different guys the contract to install the transmitter. And the band can't afford to pay all three. But what if we pay for installation? For all three? Mm -hmm, but the code stays closed. <laughs> Why would I tell anybody your price? <laughs> Let me get you another beer. How the hell did you find this guy? Oh, Dan said he was on vacation in Edmonton. Guys from Oskini Point. Where's he gonna go? Huh? West Edmonton Mall. <laughs> Look, can we cover the cost of hiring those guys? We can take a big slice out of our profit. How big a slice? Down to about, uh, $4,000. Can you live with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, Shoop is a grand chief. And if he buys, Everyone. I mean, everyone calls us first. Oh, yes. So you think she will agree to this? Just before an election, he'll jump like a trout. So we got a deal. For that long-distance feeling. <laughs> Not so loud. Situate Lois, honey, it, it, it's all right. You're 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 fine. You're in a hospital. Lois. Inete kaale nenete. Lois. She doesn't know me. We need a doctor in here. Can you show me which one is blue? Can you show me which one is yellow? Can you show me who is Harris? That's good, Lois. You can rest now. She's experiencing loss of speech and some cognitive abilities. We can run some more tests. In the meantime, we'll keep her on anticoagulants. Uh, what do you mean by cognitive abilities? Long-term memory. She doesn't seem to recognize anyone. Will she get her memory back? Therapy may help. Oh, so some therapy, all these drugs? They don't really make a difference. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Mr. Miller. Well, just tell me the goddamn truth. I know this is a shock to you, but you have to be aware that this is going to be really difficult on Lois. She needs therapy so she can relearn lost skills using a different part of her brain. Well, then what about taking her home? I mean, if she sees things that are familiar, it might help to remind her. Moving can be frightening, disorienting. What, more than this place? I mean, she, she has a home, a family. We have a little baby. She needs rest, medication, physical therapy, and monitoring. Maybe she'll know her home. Or, or Jessie. I mean, that's not impossible, is it? She'll need a tremendous amount of support. We can give her that. Sarah can help. You're next of kin. If you really want to bring her home, you can authorize her release. I don't recommend it. You wanted my gun? 
Yes. What for? We want to match it against the bullet we found. I didn't shoot Michelle. That's very reassuring. You spoke to Michelle the day she was shot. What did you talk about? Michelle's reports should give you that information. I don't recall. One of the things you mentioned could be construed as a threat. Did Michelle say it was a threat? No. I'll want a receipt for that gun. So, where'd you say you were from? Wrigley? Liard? I didn't say. Who are you? I got a message for you from Albert. Said to give Stanton a call. Stanton? The hospital. About Lois. Why? What's happened? Ka. Nice meeting you. What's going on? I don't know. Guy comes in here looking for you. Two hours, I'm pouring him tea, and he says exactly three words to me. Jesus. Directory for y'all knife, please. Stan Council has some questions for me. Lynx River Resources promised the band a water system. That's true. Council would like to know if your company intends to honor its commitment. Of course it will. When? Pumps, water line, sewer line, settling ponds. That's before anyone gets a bathroom inside their house. It's a lot of money. The town's water supply is contaminated. We need water now. It's important as leaders of this community to look into the future. Try and see my point of view. We have an agreement. Yes. But if you read the contract carefully, no time frame is specified. Are you all right? When, today? Well, what does that mean? Well, is there anyone there with her? No. Never mind. Thanks. Who's Lois? <sighs> My mother. She had a stroke. Well, you better go. What airline flies up there? Some gangster shows up and tells you your mother's had a stroke. Can you just stand there? It's complicated. You live with someone who cares about you. Who are you? used to be a chief. A little punk from someplace no one's heard of. But they made me chief. We 
we had oil. This is going to be great. Money for everyone. What happened? I made a mistake. I trusted the wrong person. I let everyone down. My band, my family. You haven't let your family down, not yet. You don't know, all right? Okay, okay, I don't. Trevor, you only get so many chances in your life. I'm not very hopeful. No, the bullet was in the wrong place. Besides, it's too old to be the one we want. Exactly. The town's busy talking about whose gun's gonna match. Someone bolts, and I'll know who the perp is. Okay. Thanks, and uh, take your time with those lab results. Charlie, wait a second. Look, there are a lot of different ways of doing police work. You know it was Albert. No, I don't know that. I don't have evidence. You've got the bullet. I found it for you. We don't know where that bullet came from. Besides, it's just one piece in a puzzle. Michelle wasn't scared of Albert. She was the only one who wasn't scared of him. That's why he shot her. Charlie. You don't have the balls to arrest Albert. Lois? It's Jesse. Yeah, well, she needs a little more time, okay? You know what happens when a town's water goes bad? It starts with the kids. Too many colds, flus that won't go away. Pretty soon every child you see has a runny nose. Then TB hits, because people's immune systems are weak. People die. Old people, like you. Kids, like Elizabeth. Water goes bad. People should move away. We can't move. We don't want to move. We want a proper water system. It was promised to us. What is a promise? Is it the kind we get from the government of Canada? You made us a commitment. And I will make you honor it. Not next year, or sometime this year. What 
the hell are you doing here? Afternoon. Hope you don't mind. I helped myself to the blueprints. The water system plant? Yes. Surveyors are arriving tomorrow. Albert wanted me to make sure everything was in order. When was this decided? Mrs. Dela. Albert contracted this work a month ago. He promised the town a water system, and as I'm sure you know, Albert Golo is a man of his word. That son of a bitch. Where's Charlie? Why, what's going on? He's convinced Albert shot Michelle. You getting that from you? No. Let me tell you something. I intend to arrest Michelle Shooter, but I will not be pressured into making a premature arrest. This case is too important to be compromised by personal vendettas and ancient family feuds. Michelle's covering for you. Be careful what you say next. I've read enough reports to know a whitewash when I see one. You're the reason she got shot while you were out there planning your next career That's enough. move. While she was out there doing your job. This case is none of your business, so stay out of it. None of my business? She's my goddamn sister! I'm worried about Charlie. She's not the same, TV. She can't speak, and uh, she doesn't recognize anybody. She reacted to your name, though, so we we're hoping. Just don't expect too much, okay? You know, if, she, if she remembers you, maybe she'll start putting things together. Is that what the doctor said? They don't know anything either. They're just guessing. Where the hell have you been, anyway? Look, just approach her carefully. Don't get her too excited. some sedatives over on the counter there. <laughs> Get the pills! Quiet! It's just, no, it's just Jesse, honey. It's just Jesse. It's just a baby. It's okay. It's okay. Elsie, I need some help here! Can you keep him quiet? <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's all right now. Here, please, just take your pill. Come on. Come on, honey. Please take the pill. Just get him out of here. Lois, please, it'll make you feel better. Please. For Christ's sake, TV, will you shut him up? Please. Please. Take your take your pill. Charlie! Charlie! He took the rifle.
He shot Michelle! No. I don't do everything bad. I'm gonna kill you! You better do it before she gets back. Because if I'm alive, I'm gonna tell her what you did. He'll be back. I don't know for sure. Look, you should call Dennis James at his hotel and make sure that everything's cleared with Shoop. Well, you can call him when you get back. No, no, guys like that, you gotta stay on him. You better not wait. Well, do what you have to do. You only get so many chances in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> 